There are superheroes flying around the map. Galactus is still on his way and has sent minions ahead of him. Oh, and there are a whole bunch of new skins and changes for us to look forward to. What's up guys, I'm ProGuide's update coverage specialist, Matt, and I'm here to bring you all the news and information from today's patch. As always with new Fortnite patches, Epic has given us some brief patch notes to go over, highlighting some of the biggest changes that we can see in patch 14.10, so we're going to tackle those first. First of all, we finally know what those beacons were up to. Tony Stark has been hard at work with the resources he has, but the Armored Avenger is nothing without his tools. Stark Industries has been brought to the island, so you can now explore the R&D lab and the Battle Bus Chop Shop. While exploring this new Stark themed area of the map, be sure to be on the lookout for the new Stark chests to grab some higher tier loot, or take down Stark himself for a chance to get into the Iron Man vault. And then, when you're making your getaway, look out for the Iron Man themed sports car or fancy CEO sedan. This new Stark Industries update has also assembled some of the other Avenger powers. Joining this update, we have Thor's Mjolnir Strike, Iron Man's Repulsor Gauntlets, and potentially much, much more. But if you are a competitive player and are worried about all of these new mythics entering the game, you shouldn't be, because they have been completely disabled from competitive game modes, which is a pretty good move. So as you can see, the forces of good are making their moves on the island, but so were the forces of evil. Galactus has sent some of his minions ahead of him. Galactus is a being of science and technology, so it makes sense that he sent these gatherer drones to scope out the Fortnite island and prepare for his arrival. When you defeat them, gatherer drones will turn into a weapon form, but you have to be quick when you're picking them up, otherwise they kind of get a bit explodey. Some new Marvel LTMs are going to arrive in this patch, and they are in mint condition. You'll be able to mix and match iconic superpowers from across the Marvel Universe to try and come out on top in one of these two new modes. The first is called Marvel Knockout. It's a four round knockout fight where each round will see you and your team be given a different set of powers to battle off against an enemy team that has the exact same powers. The second is Marvel Standoff. Two large teams will grab powers that fall from the sky, fighting to be the last team standing. You respawn when you get eliminated, but there's only a limited number of lives. Have you ever wanted to be a superhero? Well, now's your chance, because a brand new area to the item shop has been added, where you can customize your very own superhero. Ranging from hairstyles to belts, masks, glowing eyes, and much more, the customization options seem to be almost endless. Finally, there are some more weekly Wolverine challenges. We know he's on the island somewhere, and the clues are starting to build up in this new set of challenges that were added in the patch. On the subject of challenges, the new challenges for this week have been added to the game, so make sure you complete them all to get as much XP as you can. Oh, and because of the way Fortnite loads their challenges into the files, here's next week's too. I've spoken about it a couple of times over the last few updates, but Hypex has finally pulled through and updated his website to include all of the actual stat changes throughout the game. Epic may not be giving us any indication on how they change weapons or spawn rates, but now we can simply find out for ourselves with Hypex's brand new website. In today's patch, according to the site, the spawn rate of heavy bullets has been nerfed from 15% to 6%, more than halving the amount that you'll find them on the island. The Chug Splash has also been hit by a nerf to spawn rates. In chests, they've gone from 8% to a 7.5% spawn rate, and on the floor, they've gone from 3.6% to 3.1%. This is not a major statistical change, but it should mean that you'll see them slightly less. The Vendetta Flopper and the Midas Flopper have also had their spawn values changed, but considering they weren't in the game last patch, it's uncertain if they'll be catchable in this patch either. Those are all the changes to values in the files this patch, meaning things like weapon damage and aim assist values have all stayed completely the same. As always, when it comes to Fortnite, leakers have been hard at work uncovering the new skins and cosmetics that have been added to the game. This time around, the new skins mostly seem geared towards the new Build a Hero mechanics. We've got Hunter, Hypersonic, Blastoff, Wanderlust, The Mighty Vault, Dynamo Dancer, Backlash, Firebrand, Polarity, and Joltara. There are also a couple of new outfits from a new pack, Corrupted Arachne, Insight, and Shogun. 
which you can dial the level of corruption on, as well as a gold variant of Oblivion. For back blings, there's the emotic ape, corrupted long legs, bladed wings, and sight sling, as well as the hollow back. Both the emotic ape and the hollow back seem linked to the new hero customization. Oh, and there is a gold variant of Oblivion's personal back bling. For harvesting tools, we've got the phantasmic pulse and perfect point, the latter of which is linked to a brand new PlayStation bundle. And finally, when it comes to wraps, we've got the Plasma Bubble, Arcade Kid, Danger Donut, and Claymation. There's also the Point Patrol, which is once more located in the PS4 bundle. New strings added to the game also suggest that a Venom skin will be arriving soon, as well as a smash and grab Venom ability. There is no real idea on when they'll arrive just yet, but some images and sound files have already been discovered. Okay guys, that's everything that has been added or changed in today's Fortnite update. We hope you have fun in this new patch. If you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like. And if you want to see more update breakdowns from me or any of the other awesome Pro Guides Fortnite content in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of all our future videos.